Hi everybody, good morning. It is um, the 11th of August and I'm coming back at you with an update. I know you haven't seen very much of me. I tried to make this video 101 times but then something else came up. Then I thought I tried to make it yesterday. I thought, well, wait, wait until after I go to the dentist and then I'll have more to say. So I can say a lot in one thing instead of trying to, because things are a little busy. But anyway, <laughs> I um, went to the dentist yesterday and I'm going to get a full set on top because these are all caps and everything's got to go. And I'm going to get a partial on the bottom which I've heard from many people that that's the best thing to do and he says you've got teeth here we can save some of these and you'll have be able to put a partial which I'm willing to do go with that <laughs> very nice <laughs> um, I go back they yesterday they took x-rays and they it was funny because they you look at them you people are like yeah what do you have wrong with your teeth well it's on the inside you know this is all cosmetic <laughs> I mean it was good uh, 15 years ago I went to him and he did this and it served its purpose you know but the teeth are only gonna last so long you know, and I didn't, I don't go back. I, you know, I never went back. I kept it clean myself and never had no problem. But then teeth, and I have always had problems with my teeth. So it's like a little bit, you hang on to a little bit. I want the tops gone. That was one thing I really wanted gone. I know what's on the top. And he's, and it's funny because when she did the x-ray, she's like, okay, well, we'll do x-rays. And then when she, she says, oh, I see what you're talking about. I'm like, okay, good. We're all on the same page here. And the dentist, I just love him. Um, he is so good. My train of thought here. So I knew we were all on the same page. So when I saw the dentist, <clears throat> kindest man, gentlest man, he's wonderful. Um, that's why I went back to him. And he is a little pricey, but I tell you how much... I don't know. I've never compared it to anything, so I don't know if he's right in there or just a little higher. You might all be able to tell me because some of you have been through this or you might know somebody, and so I don't really know. So I went with the price, and um, it was about $7,000 <laughs> to do it all. I have a bunch of extractions. I have um, having two things made. Uh, what else? Mm, I think that was for that and um, there's a realignment fee that he wavered that was like $500 which I thought was kind of odd but I didn't I don't have to pay for that I don't know if that's just something in there and they tell everybody <laughs> I don't know but it's fine and I did have some money saved and I tell you I feel I don't know I have, I have made videos and hadn't put them on there because I thought, oh, I'm ranting or I'm sounding whiny, you know, and I don't want to sound that way or, or ungrateful because I'm not, it's none of that. It's just, I'm confused and I don't know if I, you know, I, have to, I could go back and listen to some of them to see, but I just, I'm not. <laughs> so, but if I have not, I have been feeling, if I have not said this before, I want to tell you that I have been feeling lately for the past couple of months, very confused, didn't know what path to take, didn't know if I was making the right decision, asking the universe to show me, and I'm like, am I stupid, and I'm not seeing the signs, what is going on, and I just kept my faith in it, and kept my faith in it, and it's funny how things work out, because I had some money saved, I had a nice little chunk of money saved, and if I wasn't going to get my husband to cooperate, I was going to have to use that to do what I wanted to do. But I knew my teeth needed to be taken care of first, but I wanted out so bad. You know what I'm saying? It's just how things, and I was afraid to spend the money on anything else, da, da, da. Well, um, about middle of last week or something see you don't know this but I told you this but I just never put the video up or erased it because I thought it was too but I'm trying to because I want to keep you all because I, we have such a great adventure coming um just listen to me I know that I hope I'm not rattling on and I hope this isn't overly long um 
I got it all swarming up here. Uh, I'm going to, um, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know, but then me, oh yeah, uh, about a week ago, uh, we ha I had, a, me and my husband had kind of a little blowout. He had like a panic attack when I told him one I was looking at. That was a uh, 2016, practically brand new, low miles for 52000 And he about blew, what, the, you know, and I said, but I thought you said. And the, and he's like, you know, put us in debt for that. And I'm thinking, you know, and because we, we had gone and test drive the stuff, the things, and the guy was telling us not to take our big chunk of money and put it down because money's hard to come up. Yes, I do understand exactly what he's saying. And once, when, and I, you know, and I think that was kind of stuck in his head a little bit. And after that blowout, I didn't speak to him for a couple of days, and I did some major thinking. And I said, something's got to, to give here. You know, I know, I said, whatever happens, I have to get this, this taken care of first. Um, it's not that it's a dire emergency. It's just that I know it's something that's coming. And I would rather start, I mean, it's just starting to break down and get it before it's totally broke down. So I, but it could wait if it had to. I could work about it later, but I really didn't want to. I didn't want to go out, you know. So all this is going through my head and I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. So... When he had the blowout, and I said, "This is it. This is this is it." I'm, so I told him. I sat him down, and I said, "This is. I'm going to say this one time. And this is the way it is. If you have any objections, you need to tell me because then I'm going to Plan B, which will probably be divorce, because I'm not playing this game. This, you say one thing and do another. This is. I didn't tell him that, but this is what I'm thinking. Okay. So I sat him down, and I said. This is what's going to happen. I'm taking the money that you have, that you were going to give me before. There's only a little bit left in the 40K. The economy took 90% of it. We can't afford to put any more into it because everything is so unsteady. I can't put money into something that I can't get back right away if I have to. Like my money, my savings. If something, you know, it's here. And with that, you can't. You get penalized and all of that. And we're not making anything off of it. It's been like this for... A few years you know and I you know but anyway I don't care at this point I don't care because like I say my retirement I'm sitting in my retirement this house will be sold and I'll have plenty of money plus my Social Security to live off of the rest of my life but anyway um, I said you're gonna give me that money I'm putting it down on a fifty to sixty thousand dollar used 2016-17 maybe 2015 class c rv i will have a low payment and that's the way it's going to be i says because listen and i and i because i've been i thought about the whole thing i said number one you want me to pay thirty thousand dollars for a two thousand there was a two thousand five and there was a two thousand ten one was twenty eight hundred twenty eight thousand the other one was thirty two thousand they were used they were on craigslist and he says that's what you need to buy this is what he when we were arguing that day and i says what to drive it for a week and put a bunch of money into it you can't get a decent warranty on it extended warranty because it's so old your payment's going to be sky high, even if they even cover it and I'm like, you know, this comes, they either come, they're going to come with a warranty of what's left on the warranty, because some of them have five-year warranties on them. And when the warranty's over, I will go and get extended warranty on it. It won't be Skyhawk Rocket, because it's be fairly new, and go from there. And I can pay it off. I can pay it off a lot faster, you know, than the time for it to you know and you put it over a 20 year period so the payments are low so if, you know if things are a little rough that month or whatever the payments low enough you know I said I'm not letting money dictate me anymore it's uh, material things and money or it's just so he's like all right if that's what you want to do I said that's exactly what I'm gonna do I said are we on the same page I'm going to use that money to get an RV and I'm putting all you know I went over it with him. yes 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 so then I knew the money that I had saved I can go get my teeth done and that's what I did yesterday and I tell you when I left there yesterday I felt I felt like I'm 
I said to the universe, I said, oh, thank you. I see it now. Yes, I understand. I understand. Because now, before when I looked ahead, I saw this. Roads going everywhere. Now I'm looking ahead and I see a straight road. A straight road. It's everything is falling in place the way it should and the way I wanted it to. And I need to quit rushing it. So I go back on September 6th to have all the work done. That'll give me a good month to um, recuperate, get used to things. I don't know how long the process is. I do not know. And, um, you know, the healing process. I imagine, you know, all your teeth. Be I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to think about it. But anyway, the only thing I hate about the whole mess is the shots I'm going to get when I get there. After that, I can handle the rest. I can handle the teeth pulling the thing. and the I do not like those shots. Ugh, they hurt. But anyway, so I'm going to get this all done. I'm going to get an RV. I wanted to go look for an RV starting in October. So see, and I said this before, October. So see, everything is falling in place for me. And now I see that this is actually going to happen. I am buying a Class C. I will have a Class C by the end of November, if God's a willing. <laughs> so look forward to all the great adventures we are going to have it's going to be fun having you around along with me because it's going to be a learning experience for all of us but we're going to do fine because i'm telling you i have been reading up on it and i have been yeah we're going to be fine i'm not saying i'm not going to make mistakes and stuff and when i first get it i want to go on a little mini like maybe a two night two day Thing at a state park or something where I'm parked and have my husband with me for the first time and let me do everything the driving it backing it up doing this doing that to see, make sure that I can do all of these things where I don't need anything to adjust you know I mean he might have to say well you're gonna need a stool to reach that in order to do that so I'll know to get a little stool you know what I'm saying things like that because I'll be able to do it it's not hard hooking up up the um, septic and all that it's just a matter of lifting up the lid turning the thing putting it on from what I understand I never physically done it but you know plugging in plugging water on so and to learn learn my house battery system and because I do want eventually want to get solar which won't be right at first um, we're gonna be using generator and stuff like that until I can save some more money <laughs> But uh, yeah, so the money I have set aside, I'm doing that, getting my teeth done. I got the money for put aside for the RV when I'm ready to do that. And things are actually going according to plan. And I am excited. Now, as far as the weight loss journey part of my coaching my life, <laughs> that's I wouldn't say it's on a standstill. I would say that I'm not scrutinizing it or paying too much attention to it because the last couple of weeks I really have been just a mind exhausted my hair from being out yesterday I said come back and get my mom shopping take my mom shopping after the dentist and my hair is frizzed you know I was beat when I came back I did not sleep good last night because I think I just get overheated and I can't cool off and plus I was waking up in the middle of the night thinking of my plan which I'm trying to stop my mind but it just won't stop <laughs> but uh, yeah so I'm just kind of floating along I am going to go a low carb way I've actually been eating low carb trying to cut out the breads and the pastas and things like that when I'm making stuff and making trying to make look up low carb dishes and stuff I'm not putting 100% into it um, I probably will gain a little bit I'm not going to be hard on myself I'm going to try my hardest to stay away from carbs and sweets until I can get and there also another reason why I'm not getting too crazy about it is because when I go and get my teeth done in the next couple of weeks I may not be able to eat for a while and I don't want to gain any more weight than I've already got but I also don't want to I'm not saying you because you're not losing weight you're not starving yourself so I just just too much for me right now with too much and I just don't want to deal with it right now I'm not exercising I don't see me exercising it has been so un 
unbelievably hot here that I cannot express how hot it has been. It would We had a lot of rain, but that's what's causing the humidity to be so high that when the sun does come out during the day, because it rains in the evening, it's so hot. It is just unbelievably hot. And I swear, because me and my mom, I had to take my mom to go pick up her prescription and she wanted to go shopping. And we're walking into the parking lot to the store and back, you know, when you walk back. And I said, I swear, I feel like my legs don't want to move in this heat. I feel like I just can't move. It's like my body just, it's like my muscles. I have to work harder to walk. I can feel it being harder to walk. I guess maybe because I got a bad back. I don't know. That's why I can walk in the cool weather and stuff. I'm like, I feel like a whole new person. This weather is not good for me. It's not. I need to be out of it. And... I'm so forward to looking forward to it. I can't wait. So I don't know how much videotaping I will be doing from here. I will definitely be keeping you up tabs with what's going on with my teeth, what's going on with the RV, when I go to get it, when I set it up, when I get start packing. You know, that's when the videos will start being really good when I get the RV because we're going to start a beginning segment from the beginning. And um, my sister's coming up not this weekend. Oh, not next weekend. I think the following weekend, I believe, she's coming up. And she's going to sit with me because, dummy me, I cannot. I can only sit here for half an hour, 20 minutes a day before I get bugged. On the weekend, if he's not here, me and her can sit here all day. And by the end of the day, I'll have 90% of it through my head just remembering stuff. And the rest I can figure out. But I can't. I look at it and it's like. It's Sony Vegas, the old version. My sister knows it like the back of her hand, so. Because I want to start using my camera, especially when I go out on the road. The camera is going to take nicer videos. I, you know, maybe eventually later I'll get a nicer camera. You know, once I start getting into it. Um, I got all kinds of plans, you know. And things that we, we're going to do and see. And it's going to be really fun. But right now, there may not be that many videos. Um, I would like to, I may do some low-carb recipe videos. And I might, every now and then, maybe put on what I've eaten that day. If I just, you know, like I say, I'm really not counting calories or anything. Because I pretty much know what calories help. And I know that does not help if you don't. But right now, I just can't. I am... My, I'm nervous about the teeth thing going and I just I'm not putting any more stress on myself because you know what if I do gain a little bit I gain a little bit I know in my heart in the bottom of my heart when I get on that road and I become active this weight is going to melt off of me so why am I pressuring myself to death now no I'm not gonna go out and eat jelly donuts and cheeseburgers and fried chicken Ooh, I do love fried chicken <laughs> but um yeah, so I th you know I'm just going to do the best I can. Eat my fruits and eat lots of fruits and vegetables and lean meat, and try to stay away from the carbs. You know, just a few carbs. Have a little bit each day. I'm still. I found this one thing that said I should have 115 grams of carbs a day. Now to me that sounded high. I don't know if anybody out there knows if that's high. And that, I think, was counting 30%. It was 30% of my um, intake calorie. It would be 30% of, of my in calories that day are carbs. I don't know. I know you know what I'm talking about. I'm not saying it right. <laughs> I have my own language. I'm telling you. But, um, yes. So, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But I am still here. I'm happy. I'm healthy. I'm moving on. I do have my moments. And I've had my moments. But, um... Everything's going to work out fine. I feel very good. And, um, yeah, so it's going to be interesting. We're going to a restaurant for lunch today, this afternoon. Um, I'm going to already have this put up. If it's, I may take you along and make a little video on that. It's act, and the reason why I, I know everybody's like a restaurant, we all know restaurants, but this is a Jamaican restaurant we heard. It's in, um, in our town it's in Daytona I believe and um, it's authentic Jamaican food which I've never really I had jerk chicken that's about the extent of my Jamaican food and um, 
it always looks good and the reviews were like this is authentic people that were from Jamaica or went to Jamaica said oh this you can't get any better than this and it's like um, I guess they make a whole bunch of dishes and you pick out what you want and they bring it to your table that's kind of what we're reading on the thing. So we're going to go and check it out for lunch today and see. And uh, maybe I'll bring you all along with me because um, that'll be interesting. You know, especially if it's good. Because I think that's healthy food. Isn't Jamaican food healthy? Because it's, you know, I know the rice is carbs, but isn't it beans and chicken and like grilled chicken with jerk seasoning? I know the plantains. They have plantains and I know they're carby. But, um, yeah, well, it's going to be interesting because on the Facebook you could see it and it was like a whole line of stuff. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to go and I'm going to thank you all for watching. I miss um, doing my videos, but it's just right now I'm just, I just need a little break, I think. I need a little break just to take a little time out for me to get myself strengthened up, organized, and ready for all of this that's coming and um, take it in stride because everything I've wanted and dreamt and wished for and prayed for is actually coming true and um, I can feel it I can taste the wheels I can taste the rubber <laughs> but anyway I'm gonna go because I'm chit-chatting way too much how long is this video oh god 19 minutes 20 minutes I'm so sorry. I hope I'll try to cut some of this little bit out of here. <laughs> but anyway, I will talk to you all soon, I hope. Um, I will be putting on video videos a little periodically. Another word of mine. And um, yeah, you know, I am going to start cooking low carb and getting into that. So I'll look for some recipes. Maybe once a week I can maybe put on a recipe. Because like I say, it's hard around here. It really is hard. <laughs> I'll talk to you all later. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.